What's up guys, Mike here. Welcome back to Game Dev with AI, our place where we are doing our first real-time strategy indie game with the help of tools of AI. I have been making amazing progress during the last few months and I hope you enjoy our journey, our series on how things are turning out. So at some stage you have to decide that you want to go all in you want to release your game on steam or any other platform so from hobby project that you do in your free time during the weekends with your games you want to release an actual game that people can play that people can buy and actually you can succeed i've been studying a lot about indie game marketing during the last few days and uh, there are a lot of good video tutorials and conferences on YouTube. You can learn a lot of stuff about the indie game marketing. But long story short, you have to have your Steam page going as early as possible. For example, if you want to release the game in the next six months, it's very good to have your game early. Even if the game is not ready, if it's in early stage, you really want to start collecting those wish lists. Because once games, once the game is released, Everybody who wishlist your game will receive a notification from Steam and hopefully they go and buy it. So, no matter if you're doing this for the sake of art or if you're doing this for money, you have to have your Steam page. And to have the Steam page, you need to prepare basic things such as trailer. It's very important to have trailer as early as possible to get people interested. So in this video, we'll be covering how we create the trailer for our game. I just spent <laughs> almost two hours recording a couple of videos about the trailer and about the bugs and optimization. And when everything was ready, I realized my microphone was off. So you, I don't know if this happens only to me. Tell me in the comments <laughs> if it ever happens to you, but I wasted basically all the time and now I have to redo all over again so I apologize if sometimes I just try to speak too fast because this is the second time I'm just saying the same thing all over again anyway in this video we are gonna be making our first trailer and I'll show you step by step what I did to make one and especially things that worked for me and things that didn't work for me where I failed so maybe it will save you some time are you ready? Let's get to it. As always, we start with a script for our trailer. And I had my own ideas, but I asked ChatGPT to improve my idea. And it should be short, up to the point, and about one minute or less. So here, ChatGPT, as always, can be a great helper. Next, we need to get some assets for the game. And I know some things we cannot do for free so let's get everything legal and, and proper so we're gonna buy the background song i like this one so we're gonna buy this song as a background music and then on motion array i'm gonna buy some text overlays to have some cool text animations for our trailer of course you can do everything yourself but this is all about how much time you have so if you can spend 20 dollar subscription and save a few hours i think this is worth it so let me show you things that didn't work for me my original idea was to make trailer with the tools of ai but the truth is when i'm recording it all the text to video and video to video tools are in very infant state they are very primitive to be honest the quality is terrible and it just doesn't look good i don't think anybody will enjoy looking at this between us i'm sure if you're watching this next year or much later there'll be amazing gen 2 coming gen 3 gen 4 and this will already replace everything we can imagine but at the stage where I am right now, this doesn't fit the quality that I'm expecting from the video trailer. If you can see, I'll show you an example. 
basically what runway ml gen1 can do is take your existing video this is the video we made it's just basically animation of our characters on the background that we made with midjourney it looks good but i wanted to improve it and i asked um, the different prompts presets uh, to get it better but let's be honest the result doesn't feel fit any even lowest expectations i mean look at this abomination i tried few other video to video ai tools such as kyber which is little bit better it can stylize your video but it doesn't improve it to be honest it's only ruining it it's making everything look very weird you can choose different styles, but look at this. Basically, it's not up to what I would expect for the nice looking trailer, to be honest. I'm sure this is just baby steps and next year it will be amazing. So pay attention to these tools. You might want to use them in future and they will probably be amazing. Like first time, first version of me journey was terrible, but look at this now. It's amazing art. So same will be with video. The next tool I tried is called Layerpix. Again, it was supposed to turn the flat image into animation, but again, all it does is just doing this sign movement back and forth. See, up and down, back and forth, around, which is good. It's like a parallax effect somewhere, but that's not animation. Let's be honest. Another AI tool I tried is called Wonder Dynamics, and it allows you to replace your, uh, like a, in a, yourself or somebody else, an actor in a footage with a 3D object. For example, you can change and change this guy into the robot, basically, which sounds like a lot of fun. And I tried a lot, and we even developed in Blender on the version of our robot. As you can see but then when I tried to import it I quickly realized that it's not as easy as I expected you need to do a T pose then you need to bind the character you need to put the bones then you need to assign all the textures according to standards and it's so time-consuming and so tedious that even if I try to hire 3D artists to do everything like this according to standards, they just refused. They said this is just too much work and it's too tedious. So we can get it done. So maybe in future, we'll see. I would really hope that tools like this will automatically rig your character because rigging your own character and preparing everything is just too much work at this stage and it's out of the scope of what we can do in this indie game development but pay attention this will be one of the coolest ai tools next years the bottom line i decided to go old school style to prepare the trailer myself with the help of real artists i hired an artist from fiverr called victor from belarus and he is a great after effect artist so if you need some help he is the guy to go very skilled, very talented, and very easy to respond, quick to respond. And he was helping me to prepare the trailer. For example, based on mid-journey backgrounds and characters from our games, he was created these amazing animations in After Effects. Take a look. Looks really well and it can be used in a trailer. Next, we need to assemble the draft of our trailer in Adobe Premiere Pro and the main challenge here we need to prepare gameplay so let's be honest guys a lot of people who want to buy a game or who are interested in your game they want to see the trailer they don't care about your cool logo animations and all these transitions and cutscenes they just want the good stuff eye candy a good quality gameplay so it's very important to inc include a real gameplay of your game and be honest with your basically buyers and this is a quite a challenge if you are in early stage of the development 
Like in my case, I don't have a lot of maps yet, I don't have a lot of unit types. But you have to live in the future, you need to think of the future. You're releasing trailer now, but it has to be uh, good enough if people see it few months later on before the release. That's why you have to fake it till you make it. So basically, if I don't have f six playable maps, I already have to fake it like I already have them ready and put them in a trailer because people will see them. It takes a lot of time creating a playable map, a lot of testing, trial and error. It takes a lot of time creating a new unit in the game. So you need to prepare animations, you need to code, you need to test all interactions of this unit with other objects in the game, other enemies, bullet types, how he will die, how he will shoot to balance everything. So each of those things take weeks and weeks. So you need to find a balance between creating a trailer or not doing anything at all. So some of the things you can easily fake. For example, if I don't have six maps, but in a trailer I need to show them, I can easily change an image of the background, for example, to the map that I didn't incorporate yet, but I can already put it in and change the background and pretend that I have it. So later on when the game is released and my map will be already incorporated, we are not fooling everyone, we will be already having it. But for now, this is a quick way for us to show more maps for our gameplay. Like this amazing map called Red Planet. When I'm recording this, this map is not ready. There is nothing here. I basically put the background and that's it. And you already, if you see the gameplay for a couple of seconds, you will assume that this is a playable map. But making a map, it's a lot of work. You need to do the pathfinding, the collisions and everything. Locate all, all the things and the flags and the buildings. But if we can just snap the background, put the quickly all the units around and then run it for a couple of seconds, it will, this will look like an actual gameplay. So with this idea, I recorded a lot of little chunks of the gameplay from different maps like this, just putting a lot of units together. And then I record like five, six takes of each time. So for example, on this map, I try they're all fighting, then I move them down a little bit, we run it again, okay, they start fighting again, then I choose, okay, which one is better, and I change background, we run again, and I change background, we run again, so this way I can collect little chunks of gameplay on different maps, and it will look like I have so many maps already ready, even if I don't have it yet, but I will, so we're not scamming everyone and those maps will be available when the game is released we just have to do it early you cannot wait till the last moment releasing your trailer the trailer must be ready at least six months before the game release so the bottom line is we can incorporate a lot of maps quickly and we can record small chunks of our gameplay early Another thing, we need to create a variety of units because again, incorporating a new unit to the game takes a lot of work from art, animation, coding, then balancing interactions with other units. So this is not something you can do in one day. It takes weeks and weeks. For example, one of the important units will be a juggernaut. It's a big enemy robot. And at the, sta at the stage when I'm doing this trailer, it's not ready yet. It's simply just not enough time to prepare it. So I need to fake it. So it's already sneak peek of this unit in the trailer. So when the game is released, this unit will be in the game. So this will be all fair and square. For now, I just have animation of shooting. That's all we got for now. And if I run it, he'll be just shooting. And that's it. It's not a playable character yet. So I will simply put it on the map right here and it will be just shooting to everyone and that's good enough for the trailer. I created a, a group called Fake Units Decorations and basically this juggernaut only has one behavior for now line of sight of our units and every three seconds it will be just shooting bullets. 
So that's all it does. It's immortal. It doesn't move. It doesn't do anything. It just stands there and shoots. And that's perfect. And it's just good enough for the trailer purposes. So things like this can really save you a lot of time in preparation of your trailer. Next, we put everything together in Adobe Premiere Pro and we assemble everything nice and smooth. We put our text overlays, we put our animations, we put our gameplay examples. Everything is ready to go. And it's a good trailer, but it looks a little bit amateurish. So to finalize it, to polish it before you can publish it to the public, I really wanted to improve it a little bit with the eyes of professional animator. So again, I decided to ask uh, Victor, who is a professional, to look with fresh eyes, to improve it a little bit, to polish it. Just some little extra touches here and there. It's, look, it's good if the human with a lot of experience will look over your trailer and just polish it. And that's pretty much it. That's how we created our trailer for our game. I hope you enjoy it. And of course, if you're watching it later, if the game is already on Steam, don't hesitate. Just go on Steam, wishlist it, or maybe if you really like it, feel free to buy it. I'll be very grateful. And now the final version of our trailer for Nuke Them All. Let's roll the footage. Ooh. In a world where chaos is ruling everything. There is no time for this. Aliens approaching. We're getting crushed out here. Oh, all right, time is of the essence. Requesting backup. We are losing it. Grab the territories. Capture the flags and eliminate their fort. Help! Taking heavy fire! Remember, flags mean victory. And finally, nuke them all. Mayday! Take the fire! Warning, nuclear launch detected. Missile ready, rain down destruction. Demolish their fort! Fight for now! Victory! We did it! Good job, Commander! That was hard. They are billion, I mean like six. Brains. 